Hello, my name is Michael Cook and this is a documentary about beer. I hope to find out what beer is, how is it made and why do people like it. Thank you. Many Britons love to drink alcohol and we have a proud history of many varieties of beers but since the 1970s pale lagers have become the most popular type and the mass production of these beers is destroying the microbrewery industry for British ales. I'm going to the Palace Hotel in Manchester for the SEBA North Region Beer Competition 2010. SEBA stands for the Society of Independent Brewers, which is an organisation that represents independent brewing companies fighting the large breweries, which at one point owned 80% of all the pubs in the UK. I want to find out what sort of people go to events like this and see if I can get some of their opinions. There were a total of 282 cask beers judged. Um, all of them are still in the uh, temporary cellar behind the bar uh, in cellar conditions, chilled to the right temperature and served by 56 handfuls on the bar. And as you may have read in the programme, this being a northern beer festival, we are going to do the right best to ensure that the beer is served as God intended it in the northern manner through a sparkler with a time for the head. So why are you here today then? At the beer festival? I wanted a drink. You wanted a drink? Yeah. But you didn't really want beer, you would have had something else if you had it. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Anything spirits lately? Yeah, fair enough. To be honest, it was a little bit strange being there because it was mostly middle-aged men. Well, them and Hugh Dennis from Mock the Week. Although, to be fair, I wasn't the youngest person there. <laughs> okay. So what's brought you here to the beer festival today? Uh, I got to quite a few beer festivals during the year. Oh yeah. They've just been all the different independent brewers be able to visit. Do you travel up and down the country to go to them or just the ones in the north? Uh, just in the north really. We have been to Earl's Court, we've been to the October Festival in Munich. Yeah, yeah. What do you like about beer compared to other drinks, you know, spirits or... Lagers. Not a spirit drinker at all, it's just a variety of different beers really. Are you a lager fan? Uh, depending on what it is, not Foster's and yeah. <laughs> Fair Garling enough. and the like. And you like to drink beer as well? Uh, well I like to drink beer, I prefer beer to spirits or champagne, but I don't like champagne or something like that. Do you prefer beer to wine in general? Uh, I drink more than beer than I do wine. Oh yeah. <laughs> larger industries are monopolising and putting a lot of the smaller businesses out yeah, of business. So. Yeah. Especially like Budweiser, they tried in numerous countries putting Budvar, the original from Czech, out of business. Yeah. You know, the lawsuits lost every time. Yeah. There is no comparison between the two videos. No, no. Okay, well thank you very much. I know that at the beer competition, the beers were real ales from independent breweries, but I must admit they were quite pricey. In fact, on average, the price has doubled since the 1970s in relative terms. I've read a forum post about a man who visited Qatar in Saudi Arabia and had to pay the equivalent of £7 for a bottle of Heineken. It all makes me think, is beer expensive to produce? Why don't lots of people make their own, being as it's perfectly legal? I've decided to have a go at brewing some beer myself to find out how difficult and expensive it really is. 
There's an online company called Brew It Yourself, which is the UK's largest online home brewing website and it looks like the perfect place for me to buy all the equipment and ingredients I need to have my own attempt at brewing. First of all, I'll need some equipment. The main thing I need is a brewing bin. So I'll buy a 25 litre one for just under £10. Some people use demijohns, but I'm going to go for a simple plastic bin. The one with the drilled hole in the top so I can put an airlock on it. As the bare minimum of equipment goes, that's all I need apart from a thermometer, which I already have, and some sterilising powder, which you can buy on this website as well. All of that comes to about £15, but of course it's equipment that I can use time and time again, so hopefully it's an investment if the beer turns out to be a success. To make the beer, all I really need is what's known as a beer kit. This is in fact a big tin of hopped liquid malt extract, which will be mixed with warm water and yeast to ferment into beer. It's really that simple, or at least I hope it is. I've looked through hundreds of beer kits on the site and chosen to go for a brew firm Diabolo, which will make 2.6 gallons of strong beer, which I've worked out to be about 21 pints. I like the sound of its description and it has great reviews, so I'm really looking forward to trying it out. In theory, it will work out to produce pints for about 50p each. Or if you include the cost of the equipment, it'll be just over a pound each. But even so, that's pretty good value for money in my opinion. So my beer kit's arrived. This is the one I've chosen. It's called Diabolo from Brew Firm, which is a Belgian beer. Um, and the description says, A golden coloured, full bodied beer with a pleasant sweet taste, but a high degree of alcohol. A diabolic beer. Uh, so that sounds perfect. It says it comes out at about 8% alcohol and should make about um, 21 pints. So for £10 you can't really complain that um, a lot of work out at 50p a pint sort of thing. And at 8% yeah I can't complain with that. It's perfect. Okay so let's see what we've got to play with. We've got the beer kit, which is the most important ingredient and it makes up for the entirety of the flavour of the beer. Inside here we've got a packet of yeast, which is just standard bread yeast. You can actually use any normal yeast if you, you, know, if you don't have one of these, because they don't always come with it. Um, a tiny little instruction booklet, written in every language under the sun, so, which isn't that useful because I can only speak English. Um, in here we've got um, the malt, it's malt extract and it's really heavy, it's a massive tin full and uh, so you'll see me sorting that out later. Apart from that the only real ingredients are water obviously and lots and lots of sugar. This is just normal sugar, I've got to put kilograms and kilograms of that in. I've got some special brewing sugar here which I'm not entirely sure what the difference is but I'll give it a go, so I might as well. And um, some beer kit flavour enhancers, which is just some extra malt extract to make it taste extra malty, I suppose. But uh, everyone recommends it on the internet, so we'll give that a go as well. When I got the equipment, it was quite dirty and dusty, so I've got to give it a good clean before using. In fact, I have to sterilise everything that will touch the beer because if any foreign contaminants get in when it is sealed up, it will be likely that the beer would be tainted and taste vinegary, or it could be flat if the yeast hasn't activated properly. So I'm filling up the brewing bin with water and sterilising salts. I'm going to chuck all the rest of the equipment in there once it's done. 
and then uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it for about probably three or four hours as long as I can as long as I can stand because it's absolutely filthy and it's really key that it's nice and clean. Okay. I've had this beer kit soaking in hot water for about 10 minutes because I think it's going to be like a sort of syrup inside. So let's open it up and have a look. Inside there's a really viscous syrup and it smells like a thousand beers all combined into one. Uh, should I taste it? Uh, yeah, I'll taste it. You only live once. It's really weird. It tastes kind of like really bitter butter, which is quite hard to say. Oh. Oh I've dimmed this bit because it was pretty gross, but to be honest, it's not nearly as disgusting as the flavour of that liquid malt I tasted. That was such a bad idea. I'm just stirring all the ingredients together. Once I've added loads and loads of uh, cold water and finished stirring it, it'll be done. I'll have to leave it for a few weeks, bottle it, and then I'll have a nice uh, 20 or so pints of very cheap, hopefully tasty beer. So this is the beer, Diablo beer. I've bottled it and capped it. Um, it's quite fresh, so I don't know what it'll taste like, but I'm going to try it out on an unsuspecting, unsuspecting victim over there. Hey Finn, do you want to try my uh, beer that I brewed? Oh, yeah, all right then. Nice bottle opener. Called Diablo should be quite strong. It is pretty strong. It's nice though. You like it? Mmm. Tastes a bit yeasty though. But yeah, yeah, it's not been in the bottle very long, but when it's aged, that'll go away. Can I finish it? You can if you want, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Cut me time. <laughs> not bad. Good, good. I'm glad you like it. Thanks. So it's a success? Yeah. I'll be doing this more often then. Three thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> He's going in. Right. See, interview him. He's an ale drinker. 